Hello and welcome to Fact Hunters. We know that most of the world has been explored and it seems that there are fewer and fewer secrets every day. But here are six places that you're not allowed to visit. Number one, Snake Island. Off the coast of Brazil, this island is the only home in the world of the Golden Lancehead Viper. The island was cut off from the mainland by rising sea levels after the last ice age, meaning that the snakes developed in isolation. This pit viper is one of the most deadly snakes in the world, and the vast numbers of migratory birds that stop on the island mean that there is a plentiful food supply. The population of snakes has boomed because of this, and there is now one snake per square meter on the island. That is a lot of snakes. Now, a lighthouse was built on the island to help passing ships navigate. Originally, it was manned by a keeper and his family who lived on the island. The story goes that the family of three lived on the island until one night they left the window open, and whilst they slept, the vipers slithered in through the window. All three of the family were bitten and attempted to run down the coast to their boat, but they were bitten repeatedly by snakes hanging from the trees. All of them were found dead from snake bite. Since then, the island has been kept off limits by the Brazilian Navy, who automated the lighthouse, and now visit the island once per year to maintain it. Link below is a video of a team who go with the Navy to visit the island. Number two, North Sentinel Island in the Indian Andaman Islands. This bit of land is home to the Sentinelese, one of the last remaining people to reject contact from the outside world. They live in complete isolation on the island in a Stone Age type hunter-gatherer society. There have been a few interactions with the outside world, the first being made by the local British colonial administration in 1880. British policy at the time was to capture a member of the tribe, give them gifts and treat them well, then return them to the tribe as a gesture of friendship. The two adults that were taken from the tribe died of diseases contracted to which they had no natural immunity. Other attempts have been made, most of which were met with armed resistance, including some deaths. In 1981, a container ship ran aground on the reef surrounding the island, and it was two weeks before the crew could be rescued because of the weather conditions. During this time, the locals were seen building boats on the beach to reach the stranded ship. Whilst there was no direct threat of violence made, the ship's captain radioed urgently for a firearms package to be dropped to allow the crew to defend themselves. Following the 2004 tsunami, an Indian Coast Guard helicopter flew past the island and observed that the tribe had moved to high ground and were safe. The chopper later landed on the beach to drop food and supplies, but was driven off by a volley of arrows. India has recognised that the Sentinelese are a self-governing group and are not subject to the laws of customs of any other power. The island and the area surrounding it are strictly off limits to any vessels or people. Number three, the Mormon Church Secret Vault. Built 600 feet into the side of Little Cottonwood Canyon, Granite Mountain, Utah, this vault is ultra secure. With two nine-ton doors built to resist even a nuclear blast, entrance is strictly controlled to approved members of the Mormon church. Officially, the vault is used to store records of genealogy on microfilm, which increases by 40,000 rolls each year. Currently, it's estimated that up to 3 billion pages of family records are stored here. Number 4. Club 33, or Disney's Secret Club. Located in New Orleans Square, the club was built as a location to receive dignitaries and celebrities. Since then, it's become an exclusive members club, with many of the details being kept secret. The waiting list for membership is rumoured to be 14 years long. A membership fee of anywhere from $25,000 to $100,000 comes as standard, as well as access to the 1901 Lounge in Disneyland, California, which is the only place in the park that serves alcohol. The official website for the club refuses to reveal wait times for memberships, simply stating that they will express an approximate wait time, often some years. Number five, Mount Weather. This facility, built about 50 miles from Washington DC, was constructed during the Cold War as a safe bunker for the government to retreat to in case of nuclear war. The surface facility is just a small part with the base stretching underground for a total of 600,000 square feet. With its own emergency services and amenities, it's perhaps the most well-prepared apocalypse facility in the world. It has space and facilities for 2,000 politicians to conduct their daily work, as well as working spaces for every major agency in the United States. Good luck trying to get there in an emergency though. Surrounded by armed guards and with air support minutes away, you wouldn't stand much chance. In any case, there may not even be room. 
It's been rumoured that there are plans to bring in priceless works of art in the event of apocalypse to preserve them. Number 6. Tomb of Qin Shi Huang, China Built as a mausoleum for the emperor, this is the home of the famous terracotta army, built to protect the emperor in death. The tomb was discovered in the 1970s. Extensive archaeology and discovery has happened in the necropolis surrounding the tomb itself, with thousands of unique terracotta warriors being unearthed. The actual tomb itself is strictly off limits and has not been explored. In ancient Chinese culture, the emperor was considered to be a living god and was worshipped by his people. The burial site was kept so secret that upon its completion, the craftsmen who built it were trapped inside and left to starve to death rather than risk revealing the location. The tomb was also built with extensive booby traps to deter grave robbers, which works just as well to keep out pesky archaeologists. So there we have it, six new locations which you're not allowed to visit. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and let us know in the comment section below what you'd like to see covered next. Thanks for watching, 